Yeah. And he yeah. comes back again, and he comes back again, he and he woos you, he, he, and he doesn't give up. And the fruit now that's coming out of your life, as you've begun to enter, and you've, you've written eight books and counting in the last yes. two or three years, mm -hmm. you uh, are beginning to speak to other women, to speak yes. into their lives. Yes. And uh, where can people find out more about you? I know one place, I know they can go to Amazon.com yes. and simply search for Angela Deese, it's D-E-E-S-E. -E. Some of your books are up there, and there's more coming. That's right, and you can find me on Facebook. I love to befriend people, you know. Okay. So I, I love to uh, hear from people, and I love, I truly love it when they read one of the books and tell me that they got delivered or that they they've been set free from something that's holding them back. Okay. And so that's really important. I also do blog talk radio. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah. So that that's been fun because that's been challenging. Again, when we are going into our dream, everything's new. So it's not like we're going into that same old dream. Every right. step is new. Everything is new. And that's one of the things I think, um, Doug, you had asked me earlier, and I thought about it because when I was in my house on County Road 3, just right down the road from you, you could see my old house from the bypass. Yep, yep. I had a very big window, and I, right before God called me to move to Georgia, I would look out that window, and I'd see all the cars going by the, down the bypass. And I, the fear of not doing what God was calling me to do was greater than the fear of selling my home, there changing, you, you know, leaving the mortgage industry and doing those things. So, you know, you can never let fear hold you back. Yeah. And you know what? I just feel prompted right now from what you're saying. We're, uh, we're talking with Angela Deese, author and uh, writer of eight books and counting and just started a couple years ago after you'd had a, raised a several kids and had a bunch of grandkids. Um, I just feel like let's just pray real briefly. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, yes. Somewhat briefly. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll start out, and Angela, would you, uh, would, I'll pass the baton off to you here. Okay. And we'll, uh, Lord, we just want to come together right now with, with Angela and Jeff and Diana and uh, Helinda are also in the studio, and, and everybody listening right now, Lord, in the WFRN listening family, just in agreement, Lord, we want to pray for, I think most of us, in different ways, certainly myself and many of us in different ways, who are being held back by um, different things Angela's talked about, fear, uncertainty, uh, lies from the enemy, um, and we're not listening fully to your voice, the voice of truth, and, and stepping forward into our gifts. And Lord, I just want to pray that I know there's people listening right now, there's somebody listening, maybe many somebodies, who have had a dream, and they felt like you put it in their heart. And they know they've given you've given them interests and uh, and some and some gifts, probably gifts that need to be developed, but gifts, mm -hmm. skills, and they haven't pursued it. Lord, I just pray that they wouldn't give up on that dream. I pray that uh, what Angela's sharing and what she's done in the last couple of years mm -hmm. would inspire many others this morning. Step forward and just begin wherever we are. And I think of, I think of uh, Angela with eight grandkids. And she mm -hmm. said, you know what? I'm finally going to start it. I'm going to write. Lord, what should I write? And she started. She began. Right. I think of Grandma Moses at almost 80 years of age saying, I've never painted, but I, but I, I have, it's in my heart, and I'm going to pick up a brush and just see what comes out. And uh, Lord, uh, we may not become famous like Grandma Moses. Um, we may not have, have uh, fruit from our efforts that sells for millions of dollars, but um, if you use it uh, just in our own lives or to bless one other person, um, and it comes right. from you. That's just beautiful. So, Lord, I just pray that people would step forward, step into their dreams, and uh, and just just look to you as Angela is talking every step of the way, um, and just uh, see what the next step holds. I just ask that in Jesus' name. And Father God, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to come today, and I just thank you for Doug and Jeff and uh, the WFRN uh, listeners and everyone out there that God has a purpose for each one of us, and that purpose is to glorify him. And it doesn't matter about age, though. I have made <coughs> many, many mistakes in my life, but the greatest victory is leaving a legacy for my grandchildren, leaving that mm -hmm. legacy right, that yeah. people for generations and generations and generations to come mm -hmm. will know that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he is the victory, that Satan cannot hold you back, mm. that he has been defeated through the power of Jesus Christ, yes. that no lie can hold you from your destiny, mm. and that we, as the people of God, owe it to our Savior to listen to his voice, to hear in the name of Jesus Christ all that he has for you, because he wants to bless us with all spiritual wisdom, knowledge, 
and spiritual understanding and that he alone is able to give us the victory yes and i just thank you for listening i praise the lord for everyone out there and i thank you god that you've given me this opportunity it was not expected and i'm so thankful father that you've right. uh, blessed wfrn that you have used wfrn in my life for many 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 years and i pray that if anyone's out there listening and need needs to be freed that they will come to you lord jesus and be free mm -hmm. praise you and thank you in jesus name Amen. 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 Also, Amen. Doug, yes. I'm going to be down at the House of Herbs from 11:30 to 1:30 today, signing books. I actually have a case of books. Oh with wow! 11:30 yes. to 1:30, and that's on US 33. Yes. In yes. in between Elkhart and Goshen at Dunlap. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. At, at, in the House yes. of Herbs, so I'll yep. be down there. Love to have anybody come out and get a book. Fun. I'd be glad okay. to sign it and um, pray with them if they need prayer. Okay. Give them a hug if wow. they need hugs. Oh, that's so, nice. Okay. Yeah. At the House of Herbs on yeah. US 33 in Dunlap, over the lunch hour, roughly. Yes. 11.30 to 1.30, uh, Angela Deese. Now, I want to say again, you can, if you want to find out more about Angela, if you've been touched by something she's sharing, you'd like to look into her books, you can go to Amazon.com and search for Angela Deese, D-E-S-E. -E. And I also just Googled Angela Deese author, and the first thing that came up was one of your books on Amazon. So not hard to find. Just remember Deese is D-E-S-E. -E. Um Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you. Thank, thank you again. You guys have been such a blessing to me. And, uh, you know, this, like I said, everything's brand new. So anytime getting in front of a microphone, that's one of the things when I spoke last week. You're fantastic. You've been uh, great. Yeah. <laughs> well, Very comfortable. You, yeah. Well, you know what? I, I guess that's that's the spirit of God. There he you makes go. us comfortable in our destiny. I, I wish right. we had more time. And I know we've got some stuff we got to get to before folks in the family. But I just want to leave one final thought. For people who are thinking... Well, yeah, that's great. Angela started writing after she had three kids and eight grandkids, and 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 I'm so happy for her. But she doesn't understand that I just don't have probably the gift she has. You said off air; it wasn't on the air a little earlier. You said you're not even good with punctuation. Oh, I'm terrible. And grammar. I'm terrible. I, I have asked God several times. Right. Are you sure you got the right person? <laughs> yeah, because sure. you know I can't do this. And, and we talked too. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a PhD or if you have a GED. Right. God Love that. doesn't. It doesn't matter because God is able to use you and, and he will give you the gifts. And I'll share this real quick and because we were talking about other spiritual gifts. And on Mother's Day, it was funny because I had, I had never spoken tongues. I had not had ever done that. But he, God gave me a spiritual gift on Mother's Day. And go. it's almost as though when you get in God's will and you get in that destiny, it's as though you're a child on Christmas morning opening up all the gifts that he wants to give you. Oh, nice. That's really cool. And so yeah. whether it's... Whether it's love, you know, just loving someone, whether it's the gift of tongues, whether it's the gift of prophecy, whatever the gift. Hospitality. Kind of, yeah. So Hospitality. many beautiful gifts. Yes. Yeah. There, there's so many things yep. in our life that we yep. can share with others. But stir the gifts. Stir oh, yeah. them, you know, yep. and, let, and allow the Lord to do something in your life. And like I said, when I, I heard a pastor say one time, Doug, and I sat up in bed, when, and, I, and that's one of my chapters, it's called Healer of the Scars. And as I sat up, I knew right that moment, because it was uh, Pastor Morris, and I, I heard him say, either your scars will be used for the enemy or for God. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then that my scars would be used for God. Wow. And so that's where emotional glory comes from. It's a lot of those emotional wow. scars. And you, you talk about some of that, some I, of what I told, you went through. And as this a, is a yeah. transparent book. Yes. You're, you're going to know everything about <laughs> Angela Dees and you, her <laughs> husband, her children, and everything. Because I'm very transparent because... You know, God tells us that anything that is exposed becomes light. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That, that was my devotional yesterday. Was it? See, God oh my now. goodness. Anything that's go. exposed, you got uh, to tell it all. That's Ephesians, right. Ephesians that's chapter right. five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That and that's wow. because if we don't, then what happens is the enemy holds us captive to our mm -hmm. fear, to whatever's in our life. It, it, we're held captive, but in, when we release it, we become light and we wow. become free. Good stuff. You're going to have to, next time you're back here in your home yes. area um, of northern Indiana, you'll have to stop in again. Let us know. Uh, check out Angela Deese on Amazon.com, D-W-E-S-E. Angela, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day to everybody. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Focus on the family. It's coming up next.